show, everyone. In the last episode, we rearranged the ranch rather dramatically, but I think it's going to work out because now we have the Artemis statue and it's going to help everybody gain their focus a lot better when they're using most of the uh, most common um, devices that we have them working on. But right now we have Tatsumi who's going to take part in his second tournament or hopefully get his second monster star in this tournament. And once again, it appears we're in Torbal, so as always, I'm going to have to mute the fight audio to ensure I don't get co uh, copyright ID'd. And hopefully, the fights don't last long enough that it's going to matter all that much. So, you're just going to hear the sweet, dulcet, bassy tones of my voice for the next uh, little bit. Which, I don't know, some of you like it. <laughs> I say as I... <laughs> completely shut up and don't have anything more to say. Um, God, that's such a terrible move. I mean, I know it cuts their guts down, but... Ugh. Good block. Um, but So there's something I can talk about. Like, okay. I shouldn't open myself up like this, but I always do around here, so who who cares anymore? So there are certain insults that can really cut me. And some of the insults that... The insults that cut me the worst are the ones that I uh, I feel like I can't do anything about. And so there was there have been a few comments on some of my videos. None of these, I don't believe. But um, that my voice isn't, I don't know, good enough for something. There was a... Uh, on one of my SimCity videos, I got a dislike from a guy... And his comment regarding the dislike was, Good information in this video, but this guy's voice is gay as fuck. And I'm like, alright. And most people should and probably do let that shit roll off their back. But for me, I'm like, why? And especially since we're not in the 90s anymore, like using the word gay as a pejorative doesn't really help anything. But like... You know, it's my voice is something I can't help, and I know there are a lot of people who do like it, and I understand that if I was screechy or overly nasally, it would be annoying to listen to, but, um, and obviously, like, you guys are 113 episodes deep in this series, clearly my voice isn't something you can't tolerate, so... You know, and I, believe me, I appreciate it. It's just, it's just weird to me with those kinds of insults, because, like, the ones that cut the deepest are the ones that I just can't do anything about, because, you know, you can't do anything about your voice unless, without a lot of voice training, I suppose. You can't, you certainly can't do anything about your natural speaking voice. So, I don't know, man. It just, it bothers me. And I shouldn't let it bother me, but it bothers me, and there's nothing I can do about that. Alright, so Arclight, you are sandbagging. Nocturne of Rests. Tatsumi is going to keep working on his reading. Brush up on those magazines. Tavi, you are going to work on the Life Blade. And Mimi, you are in the Running Mac. Alright. So we have thresholds of 95, 95, 85, 95, 95. Wow, everyone's in very good shape right now. All right, so Mimi screwed the pooch. Tavi did great. Tatsumi is below barely. Arclight is below. So that's Tavi gets praised. Everyone else gets scolded. So where is Tavi? Oh, there she is. Okay, remind me to flip the life blade around. Although, that's actually not too bad. You get an ocean view while you're working on the life blade. Anyway, good job, Tabby. You're a good lady. I don't know where 150 is on the scale, so I, I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it. Oh, she. Oh, wait, that's Mimi. Oh, she's almost right there. Holy crap, she only needs, like, one more. Maybe two. Alright, and the rest of you who are actually working get scolded. I'm sorry, Mimi, but I know you can do better. I know you can do better. Just get to just get to 200 for all I care. 
Your goal is 250. I need you at 350, but you're at 250. Just get to 250, and we'll see how long it takes you. Tatsumi, do better. I, I, I gotta say, phoenixes have been incredibly difficult to raise. As cool as they are, at least the death eagles, or whatever they're called, death wings, have been incredibly difficult. And once Tatsumi dies, I'm not entirely sure I want another one. Especially since he's the only one who uses intelligence for his attacks. So if I take Tatsumi off the team and replace him with someone who, uh, who uses physical attacks, then that's less bullshit I have to deal with, too. Like, that's less, um... That's fewer gadgets. I could take the book out of the equation and replace it with something else that could actually help. Maybe another life blade or a, just something. Just maybe one of the effect ones to recover their fatigue faster. Just something. Okay, Nocturna is going for the B class in the official C class tournament. Fingers crossed on this one, too. <laughs> Okay, we are in Togol, I think. I keep mixing up Torbal and Togol, because they both begin with T's. Alright. Let's do this, Nocturna. Oh, this will also give me a chance to judge Nocturna's numbers here. Um, alright, so... Accuracy is hurting, because I should not be that low. Especially given that Nocturna's been in this one a while. So, we are going to switch Nocturna's goal to accuracy question mark, contingent on where it's at once we get out of here. Speed doesn't matter with Nocturna. I, I care nothing for speed. You're Slap City, bitch! Alright. Um. Ew. Oh, God. God, why? Alright. <laughs> Nocturna! For being as gross as she is, is awfully, uh, awfully powerful, but dear god, man. Ugh. God. At least I haven't shaved Nocturna to look like a poodle. Oh, hey, it's Bundy again. Hi, Bundy. Uh. Uh. Alright. Fucking... Now see, now I've got a lot of accuracy, but just, it's not enough, because I'm kind of surprised that Garu would have a higher dodge rate than a, whatever the shit I just fought, but whatever. Stomping takes a lot of guts, too. Man. Oh, if only I had Windlore on it, since Windlore is the only thing that matters. Ha ha! First one in three episodes! It's been a while since I said it. I'm trying not to say it as much anymore, especially after I dropped it four times in one episode. <laughs> I still need to um, finish my tax work for uh, Cafe Press so you guys can buy some uh, When Lore is the Only Thing That Matters t-shirts or something. <laughs> or Frisbees, as I think uh, Jonathan Smith wants. Ear Slap City, bitch! Oh, God. Ow. Wow, that is... Garbage offense from you, Sherry. Here, Slap City, repeat! Yep. Stay down. Ah, Nocturna can take a hit. It's wonderful. See, I love you guys. I love the advice you've been giving me, but I think I have not been focusing on life as much as I should be. Especially because life seems really easy to raise for all monsters in this game. Obviously, some monsters are more disposed to, uh, predisposed to it, like Nocturna probably gains life incredibly quickly. But, um, especially, like, I think the last generation of monsters, I ignored life completely. And it's really caused me some problems. So... Whatever. I'm not gonna waste a stomp on you again. Baboosh! Those are some lucky procs. Alright, Nocturna is well on her way. One more victory and we've got this in the bag. Against Ropez. 
Oh, Ropez, you are my sworn enemy after that one time you defeated me. It, I forget who you beat. It was Tavi. I wonder how long the average player takes to beat this game in terms of uh, in-game time. Because I believe one of you left a I think... No, it wasn't Ryu D. Uh, someone left a comment um, that it took 20 in-game years before you were able to beat the game. And I wonder if that's good, bad, average, below, above, whatever. Because I kind of want to... I've noticed over the all of my gaming history, I tend to be average with game lengths. So, like, if... If they say that a game has a four, if it's a ah, shit, if it's a forty-hour RPG, it usually takes me forty hours to beat it. Some people take longer because they want to explore everything. Some people take less because they blitz it, or they're really good. And for me, I tend to be average, which makes me think I'm an average gamer, which kind of hurts my pride a little bit. I always helped, hoped I was a little above average with games, but I think I'd be, I think I'm an average gamer for better or worse. So, not... Oh, God. All right, Nocturna, let's look at your... All right, you are at level 20 accuracy, so let's get you to level 25. Your power's fine, even at level 16. But now we have... Um, wow, that means of the five monsters, we're training four different stats. That's great, because it helps coordinate the machines for everybody. And we are going to just immediately throw you into the next B class. No, we are not, but... Ooh, Tavies is this week. Then I'll know things a little better for her. Okay, cool. Okay, Mimi, you are still working on the running Mac. Tavi, you are resting. Tatsumi, you are still on your book. Nocturna, you are on the M target. And Arclight, you are sandbagging. All right, team break. And I didn't check anyone's thresholds. Fuck. Alright, wow. Alright, so... I'm gonna just not praise anybody. But Mimi's gonna get yelled at. Think about putting Mimi on the uh, life blade for a bit. You're doing shit. Do better. Yes. I think next time Pollock comes along, I'm going to swap the trampoline for the lifeblade, because we're not using the trampoline very much right now. But we are using the lifeblade. So... Mimi needs to get her head out of her butt, and I hear the Akamura home from work, so that means I might actually have someone to chat with while I'm playing. If I can convince her to get on a microphone instead of talking to me not on a microphone like she does sometimes. Hi, the Akamura. Don't bah me. Don't bah me. Don't bah me. Um. <laughs> Your stomach's empty. You work at a place that sells food. <laughs> Was this your vanilla Coke? Because if it was your vanilla Coke, I pulled a you. You better not give me any shit for pulling a you. Yes, it was in the fridge. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I stole your vanilla Coke for once. <laughs> Why is that yay? Get a microphone. So. Alright, this was my meal. It was really good, but I ate too much. You can have some, but I know you won't want any. Since it's made of ingredients you don't like. <laughs> All right, Tavi is going for her official B-Class tournament, which should get her a promotion to the A-Class, fingers crossed, and we will once again... Oh, I was kind of teasing. You don't have to get a microphone. You just came back from work. Don't give me that look. You don't have to commentate with me. You're, the mic's off. It doesn't matter if you say anything right now. You're a lunatic. Yes, clearly you were going to say something. <laughs> oh my god. You have been on your feet for six hours. It's been a long day for you. It's been a... I was hoping to get all this done before you came home so we could actually do something together now that you're home. Play some Factorio or something, but... 
you have a story? Uh, okay. Um, let me, let me pull up, let me, let me, let me pull up Gold Wave so I can actually look at the audio output. All right. All right. Okay. Whoa, shit. Ooh, loud. Yeah. Well, I've, I've. Hello, internet. I've been super quiet today, so I had to jack my volume up. All right, say so go ahead and tell your story. Okay, so today our dough guy came in at 12, and he stood around and did nothing because we could not find our scale to do dough. Your scale? What, you measure, you weigh your dough before you actually... Yes, we have to. Oh. It has to be a certain weight, certain size. Is that for, like product consistency is it so you don't waste the ingredients is it both product consistency yes oh neat because if you have too much dough then your dough bloats and if you have too little dough it won't stretch in the pan properly huh and product consistency right go ahead so we couldn't find the scale and after a while we thought maybe they just misplaced it but then we searched our manager's office, our storage space, and all throughout our cleaning supply rack, and everywhere else in the store, and we did not find it. That's weird. So, we start calling everybody who worked last night, and a lot of them go to voicemail, which doesn't bode well, <laughs> because a few of our co-workers like in any other place, are engaged in some recreational activities. Do you, do you mean Monster Rancher? Yes, I mean Monster Rancher. Yay! So, we were ultimately worried that somebody, some industrious young Cretan, had taken our $500 electronic scale for said recreational activity. Weighing your monsters when playing Monster Rancher? Yes. Okay. Weighing your monsters so that you can dole them out to other players. <laughs> oh, on, wait. Monster Ranger isn't running a chop shop or a, or a butchery here. On an equal basis. Uh, okay. Gotta maximize that profit for selling your monsters. <laughs> so, we're freaking out. Because... Holy shit, this is a $500 scale. That's going to come out of friggin' the store, which we absolutely cannot afford. Not to mention the fact that you're going to have to, like, have some problems cooking for the day if you don't find it. Oh, yeah, we legit thought we weren't going to be able to do dough. That is a cool-looking dude. Okay, it's a mushroom joker. I don't know what the mushroom is called. Needle. It's dead now either way. Exactly. Well, b before you go on, I'm just going to leave it at that screen for just a second because Ryu D is now incredibly happy, and I am too, since all the circles are on one side and all the X's are on the other side. Look at the it, it's pleasant. only way it could be better is if the filled-in circles and the empty circles were, like, symmetrical, but it's still a nice little pattern. Yes. Anyway, go ahead. So... Our dough guy is standing around doing nothing... It's about an hour and a half into a shift, and he's just like, fuck it, I'm going home. And he goes up to our general manager. Keep in mind, there are three people in the store, including him, and we're getting hit. And he says, I guess now's the time to give you my two weeks notice, and then he walks out the door. Wow. <laughs> so, we're losing our shit. We had I to call imagine. in the regional manager who brought us another scale. Thank you, dude. And then we had to call in our other managers who had gone to voicemail three times before they finally picked up. One of them came in, walked into the manager's office, opened the stuck drawer, and pulled out the scale. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to kill him. That's awesome. So, at least you found it. At least we found it. At least you found it. That guy's still dead to us. That's okay. Wait, what guy? Oh, is it, wait, was he the one who put it in there? 
I guess he's the only one who could open that drawer. We have a drawer that sticks. I see. Or so we thought. <laughs> That's a lot of tournaments coming up. All right, so put Tavi on the life blade. That's great. Did you all just sort of go, ah, when he did it? Because that's what I would have done. I would have made noise. Well, no one was in the store, so we went, hallelujah. Also, fuck you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, 75, 85 with the thresholds. Oh, I guess we'll do the training in the next episode, though, because I'm over 20, so... So the Akamura is joining me, apparently, for the rest of this session, so get ready for that. And, uh, we're doing all right. Hi, Mimi, with your clown nose. Hopefully we can get a win here soon. Hopefully. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow for another episode.